My boyfriend quit his addiction to competitive shooters after a decade of reaching the highest prestige in Call of Duty something through Call of Duty... Boom. They're the same picture. But a few years ago, whoever keeps crapping these things out managed to pinch off a solid reboot, and he caved to peer pressure from the boys. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Unfortunately, Modern Warfare didn't cause a total relapse, cause these noobs are trash. What the f*** was that? GG, JK, easy, boring babies get joked. He needed a bigger, better challenge. So when Microsoft released Halo Infinite, he was like... <laughs> you serious? Then, on March 22nd, 2023, Lord Gabin announced he would once again count to two. And Valve sequels are out of control, everyone knows that. No, no, no. Counter-Strike 2 has just recently launched, but the moment it was revealed, my boyfriend started practicing in CSGO a lot. We're talking routines, daily regimen type stuff. He trained for CS2's arrival like Vegeta and Nappa were gonna pop out of it. This is impossible! But even Vegeta will look at the playtime some of these dudes have and crush a scouter. It's over 9,000! Apparently, Counter-Strike is hard. Right. hard on your hearing, it's hard on the eyes, and it's hard on your equipment. But it's the friends you make along the way that are especially hard on your self-esteem. Can you get on site, Orange? Hey, there's one f***ing jungle if you would've heard yeah, the well, call Yeah, well guess what where the f***ing bomb is at? I hate them, they're like animals. I asked my boyfriend why'd he want to learn an eSport that's basically a phone call with four strangers who will watch you almost clutch a 1v5, then still hop on the mic like, What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! And his answer was, I don't want to be a loser. I said, I'm sorry. Aren't you the John Wick of first-person shooters? Yeah. Or did I marry little Miss Sunshine? <laughs> yeah. Then get in there and click some heads. Now, after months of practice, he's not great. Not terrible. Oh, boy. Holy smokes. Man, wow, good shit, so Hugs. Good. You're cheating, Hugs. It's the skins. But he does have some super sweet skins. And if you ask me, that makes me a winner. Category 5 loser now departing. Hold up. Are those vice gloves? Yup. I'm in my mouth. Hell, put a baby in me. Anyway, this is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Counter Strike. And you know what it's like? Pretty chill, honestly. He just kind of sits there. Usually in the dark. Get your butthole off my nose. The only sounds a faint clacking. And the occasional funny phrase to confuse passerby, such as I'm in bathroom. He's flashing me. It's long. As far as watching someone play Counter-Strike goes, I don't really want to. <laughs> He's got enough to keep track of without me describing last night's episode of 90 Day in detail. And even if I didn't feel in the way, I've seen at least one round, so I've seen them all. It goes like this. Everyone stands around. The round starts. Everyone moves up 20 feet. Everyone stands around again while they wait for the other team to finish throwing every grenade in the world. Then there's one minute of panic and jump scares until everyone's dead or something explodes. Oh well. I know, it's not always that much standing around. He's not! Shut up. That's so dumb. You're dumb, dude. I've seen my boyfriend try a strategy called Rush B, otherwise known as Hold W to Win, meaning he's gonna push through the smoke and fire and just frickin' send it! Please enjoy this actual footage of my boyfriend rushing B. Once he realized how big of a role utility played in winning, he started playing more and more by his lonesome, just smoking sights. And after dedicating every single lineup to memory for 72 hours straight, he wondered why he had wrinkly bags under his eyes. You've experienced a lifetime of smoking in 72 hours. What did you expect? No. And the shooting. Whoa. Pre fire. Is not like the shooting in other games where clicking your crosshair on an enemy, you know hurts them. In Counter-Strike, you have to learn a different spray pattern for every gun and move your mouse accordingly to compensate their recoil. 
pugs. Good f***ing shit on that spray, bro. For example, the best rifle in the game is arguably the AK-47. But to get a kill with it, you can either shoot a single bullet at a moving target's pea-sized head by one-tapping, or shoot them in the body with 20 bullets by drawing scrappy do on your mouse pad. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. That's nice. good shit. The hardest part of Counter-Strike, though, is the community. Hello, Hooks. What's up? Can you hook me? Yeah. Can I hook you? No. Only the parts of the community they put on your team, though. The other team is SEAL Team 6. They probably have jerseys because winning is their job. Your team consists of Big Mama Fat Nuts, who fails to even accept the match, a Russian guy running a scam to steal your inventory, a person who is using a computer for the very first time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna molly him then. Okay. Okay. I just got mollied. I think they mollied me. And a child of disastrous parenting who only activates his microphone to provide intelligible info like... <laughs> Best case scenario, my boyfriend would meet a really talented player. And yeah, their name is Titty Feet, but they respect the game. They know all the callouts, all the lineups, and together they'd have a monopoly on violence in the server for five wins straight! <laughs> Then Titty Feet would turn to my boyfriend and say, Not to mention the blacks and the Jews. <laughs> I feel like half the time I watch my boyfriend play this game, he's watching someone else play the game because he's dead, and the expression on his face isn't positive. I'd walk in, Are you winning, son? And he'd be like, I could have asked for a better team, dude. If I'm gonna bottom frag, I'm glad I have y'all. Shut up, bottom frag. To carry. Hey! Oh, come on, man! Yeah. Dude, you're gonna make me cry. Eventually, he learned to stop spectating teammates if he died and instead study the stock market. Not the real stock market, the stupid one, involving mostly hideous cosmetics that can be unlocked at random for the cost of $2.49. Try your luck! It's a new way to gamble and children love it! Enter your credit card and round she goes! You might might get a Galil Sandstorm. Another Galil Sandstorm. Or, you guessed it, a third Galil. Holy f we pulled a knife. Holy shit. I'm not kidding, we just needed footage of opening boxes, but all right! God, that feels good. Don't open boxes. My boyfriend got all his skins by purchasing them outright after literal weeks of going down a rabbit hole of numbers, patterns, and order histories in an attempt to flip a profit. And I don't know what's wrong with Counter-Strike nerds, and I do not recommend anyone else ever try this, but my boyfriend, God damn it. I gotta hand it to him. He doubled his money. In conclusion, I love Counter-Strike. It's my favorite game. Are we going to home goods now? Money. Did you know that thousands of companies are collecting, trading, and selling your personal data? Yes, you. Your information is very desirable. But don't worry, you have the right to request the removal of that information from all those scummy data brokers. The only thing is, it takes forever. That's where Incogni comes in. Incogni can do all that tedious work for you automatically. This kind of service, in my opinion, is vital in this day and age. We've had multiple occasions where we were super thankful to have our information removed from data brokers. Whether it was some kind of security breach online or just strange people looking into our personal information, we feel so at ease with Incogni always watching out for new instances of our data popping up. Removing your personal information with Incogni from data brokers is as easy as making an account and putting in your information. Incogni really put the neato in incognito. And if you also want to feel safer online and IRL, go to incogni.com slash girlfriend reviews and use code girlfriend reviews to get an exclusive offer of 60% off. That's incogni.com slash girlfriend reviews and use code girlfriend reviews or click the link below to take your personal data off the market for good.